So if you spent any time in the Azure console, you probably have noticed that there's a locks option against a lot of the resources. So in the console here, if we go over to one of our virtual machines and have a look at that option, into our test VM one, and if we scroll down, we have an option for locks. So if we go into that and try and create a new lock, we'll find that we have two lock types here. We've got a read only lock and a delete lock. So I'm gonna set the delete lock and I'm just gonna type in notes in the notes field and then go to OK. So once that's created, if we scroll back up to the top of the resource and try and delete it, we'll notice we get an error because this has been locked. So if we go back to our locks and try the other option of read only, we've now got a read only lock against this. So if we go and try and edit this virtual machine by say resizing it and say we're gonna make this a B1S and resize it, We'll notice we get an error again because this has been read-only locked. So if we take that read-only lock off and try the resizing again, we can now successfully resize our virtual machine. And if we scroll back up to the overview here again, if we were to click on the delete option at the top there, we would also be able to delete this virtual machine. So we can set this for resource groups and everything underneath those resource groups as well. So we go and explore our resource groups here. We've got one which is called test VMs, which has got all of my test virtual machines underneath it. So again, if I scroll down to the bottom here and go to locks, and if we go to add at the top, and I'm gonna create another lock in here, and I create that as a delete lock and go to okay and also add in the read-only lock and click on OK. Now, if we go back to our virtual machines again, we'll notice that all three of these virtual machines are within that resource group. So if we go to the third machine and try and delete it, we'll notice that it's been blocked. So just to prove the point, if we go to resize this virtual machine again, and it's been blocked again. And also if we click on all of the virtual machines, I'm going to delete those. And eventually it will fail to delete those virtual machines. Thanks for watching.